How's it going, green team? This is Dan from ECI. Today, we're putting in the TAM9 Hyperion Air Handler by Train. We're also gonna put in an air scrubber, the Train XL 1050 thermostat, and the Train XV20i heat pump outdoor unit. The Train TAM9 Air Handler has a corrosion resistant housing. The unit also utilizes a electronic expansion valve and that makes the cooling ramp between zero and 400 stages. The blower itself is the Vortica blower, which is in a plastic housing and also modulates itself in correspondence to the outdoor modulation and the indoor fan modulation. One of the very nice key things about this air handler is the Comfort R ramping profile, which removes more humidity on startup in the first seven minutes by having a slower airflow to really drop out that humidity factor. Being that this is a variable speed system, the system runs longer. So you're gonna have that constant return air drawing back and the supply air going out to the home to help balance out a lot of your hot and cool spots throughout the house for well-balanced comfort in the home. Inside the air handler, you see the empty bay for your heat kit or your hydro coil, whatever you're using for backup heat. Then you have your air conditioning coil, which is aluminum, which is very resistant to corrosion. The train actually does a thousand hour salt test to test the coil. In the back there, you have your EEV, which steps to the 400 stages for your cooling. Down low here, you have your blower, which is the Vortica with the plastic housing. The thing about having the blower at the bottom of the unit is that it's a positive pressure air handler, which means that you get a lot less chance of any attic air, basement air, any debris, dust, anything like that, pulling into the air handler and going out through your air. This air handler uses the Train XL 1050 thermostat. The 1050 thermostat is completely controllable through your phone. It'll show you your weather, your forecast, any current weather alerts, and it will also show you your indoor humidity. If you have a humidifier in your system, you can control it through your thermostat. You also will be able to watch the staging of your outdoor unit capacity. You'll see that go anywhere between 25 and 100, so you can really watch yourself save money. On this install, we're also putting in an air scrubber by Aris. This is a really great piece of technology for indoor air quality. And basically what it does is UV light goes in your ductwork, it'll start to kill germs, bacteria, and viruses on your countertops, doorknobs, any surface in the home within 24 hours of installation. And it also really helps with allergies and asthma. Any homes that are really dusty, I recommend this. It'll really cut down on that drastically. The Train XV20i heat pump utilizes the spine fin coil, a EEV outdoor, and a reversing valve. The EEV ramps itself in and out, which gives you up to 750 stages of cooling or heat pump capacity. Your reversing valve right here switches over to make it so that you have cooling or heating depending on the mode that you have selected. The inverter board itself is what makes this a fully modulating system from the compressor to the fan. They'll completely ramp themselves up and down in unison with each other to give you the desired cooling and heating capacity to reach the set point that you have in your home. The heat pump was able to produce heat effectively down to 17 degrees ambient temperature while other competitors are at about 30 degrees ambient temperature. So you'll still see savings and heat output into lower temperatures than you normally would with a regular heat pump. This outdoor unit operates in a range of 50 to 75 decibels, which is the equivalent to a microwave or a dryer. The heat pump safeties, you have high pressure switches, low pressure switches, and your compressor has a dome temp sensor that will turn itself off if the compressor starts to get too hot. This unit also utilizes a hard plastic top, which is great for situations where you have a lot of trees on your property, where things can fall into it and you don't want any mess in there. Or under a deck so the air disperses out the sides and doesn't hit the bottom of the deck and recirculate into it. With this system matched together properly, you can keep your house into a half a degree of your target temperature. Thanks for joining us for a short overview of the equipment that we're going to be installing. Now, let's go out to the job and get it in there. 